today we've got this little shell of a city and we are going to be seeing if we can make a city which generates as much income as possible from the smallest population as possible. I mean, the first thing we can do is even before we set up a city, I mean, we can already take advantage of a few things. There's a lot of traffic movement here, and that is just a absolutely perfect sign that we can just plop a toll in immediately. I mean, if we're going to be generating income, why don't we do it in style? And I think with all of that together, we will be generating... This probably, at this point, we're probably reducing traffic to the point where this is going to make more money than it'll actually bring in. But it's okay, we have to start bribing people to come into the city. That's the thing. There's no city yet, so... There's a lot of ways we can increase traffic flow purposefully. There we go. Throw these all the way up. Get these bad boys electric. Them water. I don't know why tolls need a uh, steady access to water. I guess whoever's sitting in the toll booth, but it looks like there isn't even a really. Oh, I guess there are. Those are really tiny toll booths, I guess. Man, we're paying that many people and it only costs 200 a week? Wow, what kind of wage slavery is this? That comes out to. Wait, how many, how many toll booths are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, that can't be right. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, there's seven. I don't know how I got two extras. Seven people who are getting paid 200 a week. That is awful. They're getting like $20 a week to sit in the toll booth all day. And we're, we're actually creating quite a bit of traffic with this. One of the most effective ways we can pump up our numbers is if we create a bit of industry but industry is a little bit tough when we're when we don't have anyone to work in that industry so let's go ahead grab some of these smaller roads we'll do it with trees because you know people like trees the green oxygen is cool and there we go that is that is terrible but i'll leave it okay that looks good I feel like we oh, you know what would be really effective? All right, I've got an idea. We make this a... <laughs> oh, this is awful. This is so bad. Okay, we're going to cut this off on both ends, right? And we're going we're gonna to make tolls to get in and out of the neighborhood. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. People are going to be fine with it. We'll do a uh, one-way toll booth. The ironic thing is this will probably be good for traffic having one way uh, in and out from here like that, but I, the tolls will probably not help. Um, we'll go in... Uh, trying to do lane magic here, but you can only do as well as you can do. There we go. Very nice. We'll try to put together a water grid here. Water is important. Humans generally require water to function. There we go, and then we just need some electricity, which we will pull in from the tolls. The tolls are kind of the heart of everything at this point. And now we need residential, high density residential. We're going to put them all right here in this block, and hopefully, just like Soviet Russia, it rises. I mean, but hopefully not with the whole like collapsing into ash. Half the equation, not the whole equation. <laughs> Wow, a lot of people are moving in. I really did not think we would get a turnout like this considering they have to pay like four times to get into the city, but I guess they just don't care. All the move-in trucks are going to have to pay tolls as well. Oh, really? Ah, what kind of ridiculous situation is this? People require electricity. Okay, there we go. Three wind turbines, that, that'll do it. Uh, actually, we've got a lot of people. They want a police station. I think we should put the... Well, the thing is, city services, which I learned like five minutes ago, which is very sad, don't pay the toll. So we can't force the police to pay tolls to go rescue people. So might as well put them on the main street, uh, just so that they can, you know, do their job. Um, and the same with fire. We should probably not force the firemen to go through tolls, uh, because it doesn't make money anyways. Well, they have to go through the toll, they just... Only if they're going to a building, which I guess is kind of their entire job, so... 
you can ignore me at this point. <laughs> uh, trash service. Uh, we'll just put kind of off to the side. I don't know. I mean, all of the industrial stuff is going to be over here, and it's going to be fantastic. So we're just going to go like this. You know what? That looks fine to me. I, I really think industry will be the biggest player when it comes to generating money from this whole scheme. Um, but that depends on us actually having industry in the way that I have set things up makes that seem less and less, less possible every day. <laughs> wow, believe it or not, industry doesn't like paying for a lot of stuff. Crazy. They don't like to be broke. Who would have guessed? Is that like a mega incinerate waste processing complex? Huh. Interesting. Uh, thankfully in City Skylines, literally everything is recyclable, uh, so... Just make sure to throw the body into the recycle bin, because they will take care of that. There we go. And this leaves us with... I don't know. It's got a little bit of personality. It's a little town. I mean, the tolls are getting more and more people at this point. It's... Pretty impressive. I did not expect them to continue going through the tolls, even with the uh, costs that are being imparted. They don't seem to care very much. That That's fine. That's effective for us. Um, although, we are still not making enough money. Because each of those is 200, so if we're making about 2,000, that means 10 tolls would be paid for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so they're just not covering their cost. That's a little bit disappointing. If we want to actually balance the budget, all we have to do is turn up the taxes on the residential, but that's not really... That's not how we want to be covering our costs. Another toll road. Uh, we'll do a two-way toll booth here. I don't think it's going to be that busy. We're going to bring it kind of off this corner like this so I can still expand this residential area at some point. Uh, we'll see how popular it is to go to school. I don't know. School kind of lame, though. So, we'll do this, and then uh, this will just be the school area. It would be nice if we could just remove all taxes and just have everything paid for by tolls. But, at this rate, I don't know if that's going to happen. We are having some serious issues uh, getting the budget balanced. Part of that is due to things like education and just poor city design, though, which I totally blame whatever the last mayor was before me for. Okay, there we go. Bam. Boom. Bomb. Very nice. Now we have education. I mean, they can't complain. The education is there. It's, ac it's accessible. Um, hopefully people don't walk. Oh, yes. The toll doesn't have sidewalks. There's no way they could walk. <laughs> They have to drive. They, they couldn't just walk around here. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ludicrous. They have 300 students, but nobody's actually going. So this is one of those things in City Skylines. You, th there should definitely be some vehicles going to the school and back. Oh! Oh, there we go. There's one. Nice. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Uh, how are things going? Still hemorrhaging money. This is ridiculous. How could the government be inefficient? Alright, we got a lot of trucks starting to come through from the city, which is good. The more, like I said, the more industry, the more traffic we create, the better the tolls work. But it's, uh... It's hard to tell. It's definitely hard to tell what the right direction is to go in a city like this, you know? We want it to be nice, but we also want it to make a ludicrous amount of money. One of the issues is that we have actually given it... Some of its services are just really high quality, and it's not really at a point where it can support that. We have no education, not many jobs. We, we, we really did kind of an awful job, but that's all right. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay to do an awful job sometimes. 
Wow, oh my. There are a lot of cars going through this toll booth at least. And the other ones on the other side. These ones are definitely making their money's worth just by the numbers. They're minimum making uh, more than they cost. And we can definitely see when it comes to the numbers. Uh, I think we're making more money than all the toll booths combined cost because for we have 12 uh, and at it would be 2400s. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. 24, 25% of our income comes from road tolls. And that's, that's quite a bit of income. Um, but we're still not making quite enough from it. You know, it's almost covering all the tolls. It's almost covering itself. But like I said before, we really need to get the amount of people in the city up because more people equals more cars and more cars equals more tolls. So, I mean, I don't know. These ones are bringing 160. Wow. Wow. 164. You know, it really makes you wonder. I mean, the same amount of people are going to come through here if we throw another toll here, right? It doesn't seem like there's a bottleneck to the point where it's slowing people down where they won't make it in. I mean, we, we could just chain a few. Oh god, I'm doing it again. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's just, it's just a few where it's most strategic. <laughs> okay, calm down. Oh no, <laughs> it's begun. We can already tell it's begun. And we can actually switch this to like a four lane highway just to make it run a little bit smoother in between them. Oh man, there are, there are a lot of vehicles. <laughs> there are a lot of vehicles going through here. Hopefully I'm not destroying the efficiency of everything else. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Yep. No. <laughs> Not okay with that. There we go. That's better. How's that? Okay. That's got 135. That's got 141. 100. Oh my god. They're definitely making more. They caught up. Oh, the traffic is starting to get a little questionable. But it's making money. Oh, it's making a lot of money. It's making 2,600 now. <laughs> oh, 2,700. The amount of money that these tolls are making is really uh, steadily increasing. Maybe not as a proportion of our total income, but I definitely see opportunity. I mean, if we look at these, Every single one of these is making more than it costs. Same with these ones. So, again, it makes sense. Oh, I can't. There's no space. Damn. All right. Uh, we need more electricity. That's something we definitely do need. And we need more water? Oh, damn. Okay, we need more water. Uh, we'll do one of these really cool giant towers. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, is everyone happy now? Everyone except for commercial, because they're sad because there's no skilled workers. Uh, a lot of people are sad because there's just not many workers. Very, very, very sad. Big sad. <laughs> okay, uh, these are 93. Oh, these are getting close. These are getting close to covering their own costs. I mean, slow and steady, you know? The issue is they balance all over each other. If we forced everyone to go through one highway, we could probably just chain that highway with a ton. But do we really want to do... Yeah. Yeah, I do. Why not? Honestly, why don't we just... You know what? You know what? Screw this highway. We're just going to remove it. I mean, the same amount of people should come in. Uh, I may be completely wrong, we'll see. 
We'll see if I'm wrong. We're just gonna remove these highways. And force them to come from the direction that has more toll ability. Because then we get more cars going through the, the same same things, which should save money. I mean, if you really think about it, but will City Skyline spawn more cars on this side after I destroyed the other side? I don't know. It looks like it. Look at everything coming through. Looks like a lot is coming from this side now. I mean, is that more? I, I can't really tell. I don't really have a before and after, but let's see what it looks like when this starts actually hitting. I mean, this side as well should have an increase. When it comes to... Oh, no! Oh, God, that really did... Oh, man, that really hurt. That really hurt our income from tolls. <laughs> Now it's, uh, it's collapsed quite a bit. I think that's because it needs to get used to it and start sending the traffic the new ways. Um, but we will see. I don't know, maybe that was an absolute mistake. Oh man, I think I may have made a really major mistake there. Oh boy. All right, um, I'll turn this into a way to turn around. Wow, I think I really just messed up really badly. I, I, I think I got a little bit too greedy. I was hoping that I could just rip things apart and that it would make things better, but maybe, maybe I really just do need, do need the, uh, other ways to get into the city in order because it seems like a lot of traffic is actually just moving through it's not actually going to our city ah oh, miscalculation huge miscalculation hmm well that sucks Doesn't seem like anyone really likes to pay to go to school. I mean... I can understand. Ugh! I can't believe I messed that up so horribly. I... Uh, there's only one way we can fix this at this point, and... It's gonna... it's gonna have to be something... something next level. You know? Alright, I've got a plan. What we'll do... <laughs> is I will chuck a meteor in my rage. <laughs> it's all right. So just just don't worry about it. <laughs> we we tried, all right. We tried. <laughs> we tried to make the perfect city. That's all right. We'll, we'll try again another time. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will oh, strike no. the city in the near future. No. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor wow. will strike the city in the near future. This is so sad. Residents should seek shelter immediately. Play if Despacito. Any is a meteor strike has occurred. Uh, it's Avoid a city, but you have to pay to in order to available. experience death. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the wow. city in the near future. Residents should seek this shelter This makes me feel if feel like San Vuprisco again. Meteor strike has occurred. Oh Avoid man, the good times. Head to good if times. Any is available. Well, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.